You ever wish you could read more books, but there's just not enough time? Well, you can. With AI tools like ChatGPT, you'll be able to get all the takeaway points in the overview of the book and be able to talk about them intelligently at the next party. I'll show you how. I love to read. I love to read good old fashioned paper books. To me, there are few things better than cozying up with a book next to a fireplace or grabbing one and lounging by the pool. But there are situations where sometimes we need just a quick summary of a book, just an overview, whether it's something you already read or something brand new, maybe something you're mildly interested in and you want to see whether you want to invest more time. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick three-step process, each with an increasing level of comprehension so that it allows you using ChatGPT to read five books or more in any single day. Who is this for? Summarizing books with ChatGPT is perfect for anyone who wants to save time while still enjoying the key ideas and stories. Whether you're catching up on a classic or exploring new genres, both fiction and nonfiction, this method gives you the essence of a book without you committing hours to reading. It's also great for book clubs or discussions when you need a quick refresher. Let's dive in. Step number one, I call this step my three paragraph hack. Using this step, you get a quick overview of the entire book in three concise paragraphs. For this demo, let's head over to ChatGBT. We're going to use, as an example, the book The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I might or might not have read this in high school. Using this step, it'll help me understand the main plot, characters, and themes in just a few minutes. We're going to type in, summarize, The Great Gatsby in three paragraphs. It's as simple as that. And you press enter, and we'll see what chat GPT gives us. All right, it's already hard at work. And in just three paragraphs, we have the core of the story. We get that Nick Carraway's experiences with the mysterious Jay Gatsby. We see the lavish parties and the ultimate tragedy. This overview is perfect if you just want a quick refresher or introduction. Okay, what if we want to do a really big book? Would three paragraphs really do it justice? Let's try another classic. We're going to start a new chat by pressing this button. When you do this, it erases its memory as if we're having a brand new conversation. Now let's try another classic, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. This is a much longer or more complex novel, but ChatGPT can still break it all down in three paragraphs. Let's see how it does. Again, we're going to type in, summarize War and Peace in three paragraphs. We press enter and let's see what we get. Okay. War is a sweeping novel, explores the lives of Russian characters during the war, and it gives you a pretty good essence of the book. It highlights the lives of the key characters set against the war. You get a sense of the epic scope of the novel, from its focus on the struggles to larger themes of war and peace. Even for a dense book like this, step one gives you a pretty clear digestible summary. All right, with this step, you can quickly understand the key points of any book, no matter how simple or complex. Now, on to step two, getting a detailed summary in 1,000 words. This is great for understanding the character's motivations, major events, and deeper themes. Let's give it a try. Like last time, we're looking at ChatGPT with a brand new chat. We're going to type in Summarize the Great Gatsby in 1,000 words. And let's see what we get. 1,000 words is significantly more than three paragraphs. So we're seeing a lot of summary of the entire book. Here, JGPT expands on the key moments, like Gatsby's backstory, Nick and Buchanan's, his love for Daisy, and the tension between some characters. You get a much more fuller picture of the story, including his social commentary on the American dream. Let's try this with our second example, War and Peace. Summarize One Piece in 1,000 words. It gives you a lot more characters, it gives you a lot more of the plot overviews in a lot more detail. 
The 1000 word level gives a really great comprehension of the work without spending too much time reading it. This is probably a four or five minute read and is perfect for things like book reports or slightly deeper discussions. And finally, for step three, a 2500 word summary of those who want a near complete understanding of the book. Let's ask ChatGPT to summarize The Great Gatsby in 2500 words. So as we can see, it is almost a breakdown of chapter by chapter. We get all the intricate details, like the symbolism of the green light, Gatsby's dream of reuniting from the past, and also with Daisy, and a tragic ending as a conclusion of the book. It's like having a highly comprehensive study guide that gives you almost everything except the dialogue. It really gives you a detailed nuance and understanding of the book. Using this three-step process, you can read five books in a day by summarizing them at different levels. Start with a quick overview to decide if you're interested. Dive deeper with 1,000 words or get the full story with 2,500. You could explore classics like Pride and Prejudice, popular fiction like The Alchemist, or even nonfiction books like Sapiens. Here are a few tips to help you get the best results when summarizing books using ChatGPT. One, be specific with your questions. Mention the author and full title of the book if possible. Two, use more follow-up questions to explore key themes or to clarify some details. Here's what I mean. For example, after getting a 2,500 word summary of The Great Gatsby, you might want to ask, what are the key themes in this book? ChatGPT will summarize this and tells you that it's really about how it critiques the moral and social fabric of America's 1920s. It's wonderful. Another great follow-up question is, explain the ending in more detail. Using this question, this can help you clarify any complex resolutions or any lingering questions about the story. Then this gives you a lot of details in this one. These additional questions can help you dig deeper and get a richer understanding without reading the entire book. And don't be afraid to experiment. Try summarizing books on different genres and ask different follow-up questions that interest you the most. Let's recap. With ChatGPT, you can summarize books in three easy steps. Step one, a quick three paragraph overview. Step two, a detailed 1000 word summary. And step three, an in-depth 2500 word breakdown. This method helps you explore even more books without spending hours reading. It's like unlocking a whole new library in one day. So tell me, what book are you going to read first? Comment below. I really love to know. If you find this content helpful, share with a friend and hit that subscribe button. If you're new to ChatGPT and need some help with introduction or how to set it up, I have videos about that here and here. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye.